because this is a public YouTube channel, we won't be mentioning any names or anything specific. Uh, but for our congregational prayer this morning, we'll just have some uh, generic prayer. Um, obviously, there's lots to pray about, um, considering the the coronavirus, and um, and of course, keeping in mind the uh, the elderly and uh, and the immunocompromised or already sick people that are that are in our congregation. So let's bow our heads to pray. Father God, we come before you this morning with trust in you. We uh, we just want to thank you, Father, for your unending faithfulness. We thank you for always being near to us. We thank you for watching over us, for your comfort, and for your peace. We ask, Father, for uh, reassurance. We ask that you take all fear from us. May we just continue to rest in you, knowing that you are in control. We pray, Father, for the, our entire world. We pray for those that are so very affected by the coronavirus, in that they've lost loved ones, or are suffering in, in illness. And we just pray for the shut-ins. We pray for those that are in isolation or quarantine. We pray uh, that, that you help us to use our minds and our time to further your kingdom. And we ask that you instill generosity in our hearts. We ask for patience. And again, we just ask for peace, your peace. Father, we pray especially for the elderly and sick of our congregation. Be especially near to them. And we pray for, for those that are mourning. We pray for the kids as they're, uh, they're going to be home a lot longer from school than the anticipated March break. And we pray especially for the parents. And uh, we pray, Father, uh, an extra special blessing on our frontline workers, our healthcare workers, our firefighters, police officers, and paramedics, and all those that can't stay home from work. We just pray your protection to be upon them. We ask your blessing on this day. We thank you so much for being our God, our Father. We thank you for the gift of your Son, the salvation that you've given to us, and the, the assurance that we have, that no matter what happens, that we have a home with you, that we have your peace, and we have comfort from you, and we just thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen.